Hi, this is Beata from Split Cost Dampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create a slider card. A slider, uh, a slider card where when you pull on one side, on the other side, another tab appears. The image that I used here is from my favorite things, the Flower Girl. And the paper is from October Afternoon as well as from Cosmo Cricket. To begin with, you need a piece of cardstock that measures five and a quarter by eleven, and you score at two and a half, six and a half, and ten and a half. And you pre-fold those score lines to create your slider base. Now you take a square, a square punch, either one and a quarter or one and three quarter, or if you don't have it, but you have the photo corner punch, like me, just gonna use that to create a groove in your two and a half inch wide strip. And then because it's not quite straight, sorry about that, but I don't have a square punch anymore, since I mostly use nestabilities. I got rid of all of my punches, or most of my punches. And I just cut that straight. Don't know why I'm so wiggly today. And then you'll need a strip of like about a one inch strip and about 12 inches long or 11 inches of uh, plastic. And I just cut a grocery bag into a one inch strip. And you place that on your slider part you created. And you add some adhesive at one end. And as always, I'm using score tape. So just add some adhesive right here. Peel off and take the other end over. Not too tight, but not too loose. And then just cut the rest off. Now, um, now if you want to decorate, do it now, like if you want to sew, like I always do. And that's what I did. I also punched a circle into the top, so it will be easier to pull the um, tab out, the first tab. Okay, now you center the beginning of your um, tape where you adhere the tape and you will need two pieces of three and a half by four inch cardstock. I layered them and stitched them as always and place your first one where you want it to be in the center and then eyeball or just scoot it over a little bit to see where it will be um, and add some adhesive on the bottom of your strip on the bottom where the bottom of your slider would be and center it back in where it's supposed to be take off the adhesive and flip it over so it will be taped on there mm. it's still at the edge and we do the same with this one except for it goes on top of the slider part okay so again check where the end will line up and add adhesive there take the adhesive off a little bit tricky on plastic with the end and with the other slider part press down and now when you pull this one the other one will come out all you have to do now is close it 
add adhesive on that half an inch tab that we have created. And your slider front is done. And you just have to decorate it. And you can either adhere it on a half an inch piece of um, uh, on a on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece or you can make it a whole card like I did in this this card so before I want to tape this on I wanted to add a little bit of ribbon tape it on to the card front add my centerpiece a little bit of decoration and then when I pull it out uh, I wanted to my sentiment to stand out a little bit so I cut it with my favorite things dynamics and added a sentiment that matches that dynamic I hope you have fun with this it makes some fun interactive card see you next time